Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today I am back with another new topic that is CMOS Inverter. This is one of the common physical design interview question and in this video I am going to discuss about what is CMOS Inverter and its basic operation. So without any further delay, let's get started. What is CMOS Inverter? So CMOS Inverter is basically a logic gate. So if you see this, these also like a other logic gates like AND gate or gate but its function is that whatever input you will give it will generate just the inverted value or the opposite output. That means its main function is to invert the input applied on it. So if we are giving logic 1 as input we should get logic 0 as output. If we are giving logic 0 as input we should get logic 1 as output. So, if we consider this, this is the schematic of CMOS inverter. So, if we see here, this circuit has both PMOS and NMOS transistors and these are the gates. Uh, this one, this blue color circle represents the gate of PMOS transistor. This one represents the gate of NMOS transistors. And the gates of both of these transistors are shorted at the input and the uh, these are the drain. So both the drain terminals of these two transistors are shorted at the output and PMOS is connected to VDD and NMOS is connected to ground. So this is the basic schematic diagram of CMOS inverter. So we should understand that the main functionality of this CMOS inverter is to invert the input signal applied on it. And uh, this is actually this CMOS inverter uh, can be used in many digital devices such as multiplexers, decoders, state machines, also in many analog devices like op-amp and all. Next we are going to see CMOS operation. So this is this is the PMOS first. PMOS is a Q1 and NMOS is a Q2 for both the diagram. So when we are giving input as one. Uh, let's say first we are considering input as 1 so that time so this is the common gate for both NMOS and PMOS so when we are giving input as 1 means for PMOS it will go as inverted 1 so if we are giving 1 means it will become 0 that means it will become open circuit for PMOS and for NMOS it will become short circuit that means the output will be like if it is open circuit means VDD is coming as 0 so output will be 0 so uh, when we are giving input as 1 we are getting output as 0 and on the opposite hand if we see when you are giving input as 0 for PMOS it is again it is inverting the value and we are getting Q1 as 1 so VDT is 1 and for Q2 it is becoming open circuit so this is totally 0 now so input uh, as it is 0 it will give us Q1 as 1 and the output will be 1 or the whatever the VDD is there the plus VDD so whenever we will give input as 0 we will get in output as plus VDD or the logic 1 and whenever we will give input as 1 we will get the opposite that is output as 0 that's all for this session so on the upcoming video we are going to discuss about more on CMOS inverter characteristics and also we are going to discuss on the implementation of the other logic gates using CMOS inverter. Thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Do comment down below your feedback on this video and share it as much as possible with your friends, colleagues and VLSI aspirants. See you next time. Till then, stay tuned and stay safe.